सबको नमस्कार इन दिस सीरीज आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द माउथ पार्ट्स ऑफ इंसेक्ट पेस्ट एंड आई विल डिस्कस द मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ द माउथ पार्ट्स एज वी ऑल नो देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ माउथ पार्ट्स लाइक बाइटिंग एंड चिविंग टाइप ऑफ माउथ पार्ट्स लाइक द बियर सिंग एंड सकिंग टाइप ऑफ माउथ पार्ट्स लाइक वी हैव द चिविंग एंड लैपिंग टाइप ऑफ माउथ पार्ट्स वी हैव द स्पॉन्जिंग टाइप ऑफ माउथ पार्ट्स एंड वी हैव द साइफोनिक टाइप ऑफ माउथ पार्ट्स बट ऑल आर डिफरेंट बिकॉज ऑफ द मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ द माउथ पार्ट्स ओके सो आई हैव ड्रॉन डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ पिक्चर्स सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इट इजिली एक्चुअली फैक्ट इज दैट इफ यू नो द बाइटिंग एंड चिविंग टाइप ऑफ माउथ पार्ट्स ऑल द स्ट्रक्चर यू कैन इजिली रिमेम्बर द ऑल अदर पियर्सिंग एंड सकिंग टाइप चिविंग एंड लैपिंग टाइप स्पॉन्जिंग टाइप साइफनिंग टाइप ऑफ माउथ पार्ट्स बट हाउ सपोज you can see that this is the maxilla right maxilla have one inner uh, teeth portion called as lacinia and later it has the outer portion of gallia in in siphoning type of mouth parts that same gallia has actually changed into this kind of proboscis also you can see that this is the labium the lower lip you can see here is the two structure inner and outer inner is called as glossia and outer is called as paraglossia this same glossia has actually changed into flabellum into the chewing and lip li lipping type of mouth parts so all you need to know detail study of the biting and chewing type of mouth parts it is actually base if you know that you can easily compare other mouth parts and easily can remember those so today i will discuss about the biting and chewing type of mouth parts later in the videos i will cover all the modification of the other mouth parts okay now first of all insects are actually classified into two sector mandibulate and hostilate mandibulate are those type of uh, insects who actually feeds the solid food and hostilate are those type of insects who actually feeds on liquid food okay now we will talk about the biting and chewing type of mouth parts you can see the cockroach and grasshopper has this kind of mouth parts there are all the st structure like lab uh, like labrum labia ma ma mandible and maxilla okay now first of all we talk about the la labrum you can see labrum is uh, colored as green okay so in the in the other uh, uh, mouth parts we will also denote is as green okay that's why i have make it colorful so in the labrum you can see the inner surface is called as epipharynx okay under that epipharynx there is hypopharynx which is actually told as the tongue of insect okay there is nothing more in labrum now talking about the mandible you can see there is a teeth portion and there is one portion circled you can see the circled area this actually articulate with cranium okay nothing more in mandible now we talk about the maxilla maxilla is actually little bit of complex because there is the three structure cardo strips and palpifar okay now this cardo is actually articulated to the cranium okay now there is the stripes and here is the palpifar palpifar actually have the five segment each segment is called as palp okay so this maxilla is also told as the secondary jaw because mandible is actually told as the primary jaw and you can see this is important in the maxilla you can see the teeth portion right this is inner layer you can see the teeth portion this teeth portion is actually called as the lacinia okay and outer this outer structure of the lacinia is called as gallia you can see gallia so one pair of lacinia and one pair of gallia you have to remember this very much now talking about the lab labium you can see labium has three segment submentum mentum and prementum prementum is important why prementum has the palpi it is actually three segmented here you can see in the maxilla it is actually five segmented and it's called as pulp but here it is three segmented okay now you can see the most important thing in labium is you can see the inner structure and outer structure same as here inner structure and outer structure here the inner structure is called as glossia okay and the outer structure is called as paraglossia you have to remember this thing very much carefully because there is a lot of modific modification in piercing and sucking type chewing and lapping type you have to remember this now you can see here one ex one another point is that if glossia and paraglossia are actually fused so in some insect these two se uh, segment are actually fused then it's actually called as ligula okay so that's for today that's how i have uh, uh, described the 
biting and chewing type of mouth parts just remember this thing and later it will help very much while studying piercing and sucking type and other different type of mouth parts i will make the detailed video of all of this and will make you understand all of this thanks for today